It's that time again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoops. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. It has been a while since I've done one of these videos. Of course, we're talking about mail time. If you've never seen one of these videos before, it's because I kind of phased them out. Things were getting a little too crazy at the P.O. box. So I'm gonna give you a little more inside scoop on how this whole thing works. Basically, I have a public P.O. box. That way people can send stuff in if they want to. I started this a while ago and I was just kind of opening random packages. People seem to really like it because you really never know what I'm gonna open. I phased it out and I haven't done it for a while, but I still kept getting packages. So I let them kind of pile up a little bit to what you see right now. You can't even see it actually. <sighs> Let's put them back here. So I let them pile up to that and now we're gonna open them. Now I did things a little bit different this time and I'm gonna fill you in on some like YouTuber information. It's pretty common knowledge, but once you grow a channel and an audience to a certain size, there are a lot of sellers on Amazon. You'll notice a lot of these boxes are from Amazon. These Amazon sellers typically are from overseas, but they will reach out to YouTube channels and say, hey, will you review our product? This will start kind of slow and gradual as your channel grows, but once it gets to a certain extent, it becomes extremely overwhelming. Your inbox gets flooded with a bunch of sample review test products, whatever. And for the most part, I never respond to any of them. Now, one of the reasons we have so many packages today is because for the past 15 days, we have been replying to pretty much anyone who reaches out to us. From May 1st until the 15th, we've been saying yes to any product that wants to be sent in. The PO box is public information anyway, so people could send stuff in if they wanted to. And now a lot of those products are here, and I really don't know what everything is. Some of them are from friends of mine and other ones are from completely random Amazon sellers. Throughout this, while I open things up, I will try to leave links to all of the products in the description down below if you guys see something that you kind of find interesting and you wanna check it out. And I'll try to save all the thank yous until the end because this is cool that people actually do send stuff in. The first one I'm opening from someone that I know or I should say a company that I know and I'll kind of alternate these. So I'll do one from one that I know, one that I do not know. This one is coming from ProTech Knives. So since I need something to open all these boxes, I might as well open a knife first. Now I got an email the other day that I'm reading off screen here. It says, hey, my name is Tony. I work over at ProTech Knives. Long story short, I would like to send you a knife because we watch your channel and I appreciate what you do. So I was like, hell yeah, I talked with Dave from ProTech before at SHOT Show this past year and I was like, I would love to check out one of your knives and possibly do a review on one. So I sent him a bunch of models. He was asking what I kind of like and I gave him kind of like a rough idea. And then he was like, nah, nah, nah. He's like, I know your channel, I got this. So we will see what he went with. Oh, there's packing peanuts. These are gonna get everywhere. Ooh, nice ProTech box though. ProTech sticker, ProTech uh, catalog. They make some killer stuff. I've played with a lot of their knives, but I do not own one. So this will now be my first. This is a pretty cool box, ProTech 20th anniversary. This is already a nice like unboxing experience. It's almost like, I don't know if it's magnetic. Ooh. Oh no. We're good, it's in a bag. Ooh, this is a TR5 Auto and the AW means acid wash, black handle, S35 VN blade, plain edge. These are all things that I look for when buying knives. So I have a feeling this thing is going to be right up my alley. Nice little bag. Ooh. Oh, there's a lock. Oh, dude. Hell yeah, dude. So this is one of Protect's tactical response knives. Super awesome acid wash looking blade. This is obviously an automatic, so it's a push button there. There is a little lock on the side there. All metal design. Looks like a very nice feeling pocket clip actually. And dude, these Protex, oh, they fire so hard. This thing is sick. I think for the rest of this video, my Sabenza is going to go to the side and I'm gonna open everything else with this. Dude, that's so sick. Tony, you killed it on picking something that matches my style. Picking out a knife for someone is kind of hard, especially if you don't really know what they're into and you definitely have done your research on me or the channel because this thing fits my style perfectly. Dude, it feels super good in the hand as well. You guys will absolutely be seeing a full review on this in the future. So 
Tony and Dave and anyone else at ProTech. Thank you guys for watching the videos and I really appreciate this gift. Now, I'm just gonna be playing with this for the rest of the video. All right, let's open a random one. This is coming from an Amazon seller. Not exactly sure what it is. ProTech test. Super sharp, of course. This next one is coming from Team Zone. Not sure what this is. If I had to guess, I would say it's like a wallet. And I'm correct. Ooh, smells like good leather too. Original Team Zone handcrafted genuine leather. We stand for superior craft excellence, quality, and innovative design. There's some silica gel in case you get hungry. This is actually a nice wallet. So you guys know how I feel about wallets. I mean, I cover them a lot on the channel. I typically prefer minimalist style wallets. Obviously some things that are very small and compact. I really only carry cards and very rarely carry cash. So it has been years since I carried a bifold wallet like this, but I do have to say that the quality on this thing does feel pretty good actually. This is a type of leather that will probably patina over time and kind of look and feel pretty cool. It's like a nice soft touch to it too. There's like 10 card slots. There's this flappy thing in the middle for an ID and then two slots for money. Also a zipper on the inside here, a zipper on this side as well. So this is for the people who can't do the whole minimal thing. People who carry a lot of stuff on them. It's actually a nice wallet. I just checked out the price and these things are going for about 25 bucks. So there you go. I'll leave a link in the description down below. This pile of trash and packing peanuts and stuff is getting bigger by the second. Next one is coming from Olight. Let's see what they got in here. Oh man, we got some lights. We got a mount for something that you guys probably know already. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff packed in here. There's all sorts of mounting accessories and things like that. We got a rail and a flashlight mount, a magnetic remote switch, another magnetic remote switch, a sticker, and those other accessories go to this guy right here. I've seen a lot of people have already picked this up for the flash sale that they had a little while ago. This is the Olight Warrior X. This is a pretty massive looking light. I'm actually gonna pop this open. Oh man, that thing is chunky. Let's see if this thing has any juice in it. I bet it does. Ooh, it just vibrated. That is different. I don't know what that means. High mode, you're running at 2000 lumens and then it'll downgrade to 600, 560 meter throw on there. So there is a nice hot spot in the middle. It does have a pocket clip on there, but like those accessories kind of hint at this thing would be good to mount on a rifle if you wanted to. So that thing is pretty cool. Maybe I will have to check that thing out and then possibly bring you guys a review on that. If that's something you wanna see, let me know. And then another thing that's new that you guys might possibly be stoked on is a new Olight PL Pro. This is similar to the Valkyrie in size. I did do a video on that in the past, but this one happens to be rechargeable. So I'm not gonna open this up right now, but I will check that out possibly on a video in the future. So thank you to Olight for the gift and the lights. I will uh, be using these in the future. Now let's go back to one that I'm not quite sure on. This is coming from Los Angeles, California. This is, oh dude, these were supposed to come a long time ago. I completely forgot about these. There is a note, I like notes. Hey Talon, your Gen 2 Cali key is finally here. The new design of the Gen 2 allows for a little bit of internal play and improves usability at speed. So if you guys have not seen this before, I think I may have covered it in my SHOT Show video back in January but this is what is called the Cali Key. It basically turns any AR into a bolt action AR. A lot of people have very strong opinions on these and after talking with the owner, the guy who created this, I got a very better understanding for what these things actually were designed for. A lot of people kind of hate on this idea, but once you hear what I have to say about it, I think it might change your mind as well. I was definitely on the fence about it until I actually talked to the guy and yeah, I'm excited to uh, bring you guys a video on this as well. So I guess this was delayed because this is the Gen 2 now, the newer version of it. And believe it or not, I'm actually a fan of this idea. It may help me out in the future in a way that you guys probably don't really think of. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for a video on that. That is definitely going to make for an interesting video. Now we got another one coming from a familiar 
friend company, even though I've never actually met these guys. This is coming from One Wheel. I did order the One Wheel pint. I'm waiting for that to come in. So if I had to guess, I would say that these are my little incentives that they sent out when you pre-ordered it. Welcome to the club. If you're receiving a limited edition pint dad hat and pint glass, it also means that you're part of something much bigger. Right on, right on. So we got a pint, a pint glass. That's why they were putting it in uh, quotations. It's a pint glass, but it's not actually a pint like the measurement. And it's also not glass, but it's a pint glass. I'm a part of the club, guys. And a dad hat, a pint dad hat. I'm really not a dad hat guy. Do you think I could pull one of these off? I don't know about that. Probably not. I mean, people do. I guess I could wear this and people wouldn't really think anything of it. But it's cool, it's got the pint on it. You guys will definitely see a video of the pint in the future. Now I also got a letter here, so I'm gonna open this one up next. This is coming from, I believe a patron of mine. Shout out to everyone who supports the channel over on Patreon. And if I had to guess, I would say that this looks and feels like a wedding invite. This is coming from Jordan and Caitlin out in Des Moines, Iowa. Kindly join us for the wedding of Caitlin and Jordan, June 15th at a state park in Iowa. That is exactly one month from today as I'm filming this. Uh, Jordan, I'm sorry, bro, I can't make it. I will be in Nashville at that time. I do appreciate the invite though. I will be sure to RSVP. I'll get this in the mail to you guys as soon as possible. Ooh, cocktail hour though from four to five. Hmm. Maybe I can make that. No, but for real, thank you guys for including me in your uh, special day. Congrats on getting hitched, and I hope you guys have a great time. And again, I appreciate the support over on Patreon. This next one is coming from San Bernardino, California. This is an Amazon box. Again, I'm not exactly sure what this is or who it's coming from yet. We got some ear pro. I'm not super picky when it comes to EarPro. I have done a video on the ones that I wore in the past. I have been lately wearing some new ones. Uh, let's check these out. All right, this is a pretty familiar design. Are they side specific? Yes, right side over here. They sound okay. Whoa, they're super loud. Check, 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 check. All right, that's a little bit better. So they're a pretty like low slim design. There is no like bump cut out here on the bottom for if you're shooting a rifle, but I'm not sure if that would be an issue just yet or not. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. They feel fairly comfortable. I just found them on Amazon. They are $29.99, prime free shipping, one day shipping, and they're rechargeable 30 hour long use. So yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. Now it's really hard to tell how these things would be unless I would go out and actually use them for a while. I typically wear ear pro like all day from start to finish when I'm filming. When I'm standing here talking to the camera, I'll pop them off and just hang them on the back. But for the most part, I have these things on all the time. Comfort is a huge thing and also the way they actually sound while shooting is another huge thing. You can never have too many ear pro though, especially when you're going to the range with friends. So maybe I will have to bring these along with me and check them out. It's always good to have another set. And if you guys wanna check out all the specs on them, like I said, there will be links in the description down below. This next one is coming from my friends at the Neomag. You guys may have seen me use the Neomag or talk about it on the channel in the past. What it is is basically like a little magnetic holster clip so you can put it inside your pocket. You don't need to have anything else on your belt line. Feels like a t-shirt, a sticker, and a note. Talon, thanks for your support, Greg. Greg, thank you for the package, brother. Hope you're doing well. I think I saw you pretty recently. Ooh, American flag Neomag shirt, hell yeah. Let's try this real quick. Ooh, there we go, fits like a glove. And I also got a Neomag custom shop case. This is pretty cool. They do a lot of custom runs of different materials and finishes and stuff like that of their Neomags. Never had a custom one before. What does that say, Asgard? Materials made out of steel and titanium. Check this thing out, this is pretty rad. Got a super cool finish on there. I'm assuming this would be a titanium pocket clip. It's got some type of blue, like, I don't know, battle-worn Cerakote on there maybe. And then these use rare earth magnets here to hold a magazine. This would be good for single stack, double stack. You don't need to swap anything out. A little bit of pocket bling for uh, any of you knife guys out there who 
are into like pocket clips and stuff like that. So Greg, thanks for the custom shop Neomag, man. I appreciate it. Hope you guys are doing well. And Dusty, if you're watching this too, hope you're doing well as well. Now we got another one. This one is interesting. Uh, not an Amazon seller, but I believe this was one that came from one of those emails. I feel bad opening boxes like this with this brand new knife. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be used, but you know. This is what looks like uh, grape juice. Someone sent me a bunch of grape juice. I guess this is for like a testes episode. Can you get this stuff on Amazon? All right, you can get this on Amazon and for a four pack, it's $10. What? That can't be right. I don't have anyone here to do a Tessie's episode with, so I guess I'll just uh, do it myself. Welcome to Testies, where we test stuff out and tell you how it is. Today we're testing Juice de Raison. Grape juice, 100% grape mm. juice. Yeah, grapey. That's good. Thanks for watching. Hmm. All right, this is definitely one of the weirder things that I got, and it's probably not safe to uh, eat stuff that just came to you in the mail. You don't know where it came from, but it is kosher, so that's good, I guess. I never really drank grape juice when I was a kid, but yeah, this is pretty good. So thanks to uh, whoever sent this out. I'll leave a link for it in the description if you want to try it for yourself. All right, next one, we got another Amazon package again. Don't know who it's coming from, but you never know what you're gonna get on Amazon. They sell so much stuff. Oh, dude, is this more food? Is this more kosher food? Oh, dude, I bet this went along with the last one. Sup, Talon and friends. Unfortunately, it's just me. In honor of Passover, I wanted to say thank you from all your Hebrew friends. Hebrew, Hebrew friends. Appreciate all your content. Sup, sup, David S., a humble patron supporter. David, I appreciate the support over on Patreon. I am definitely gonna say whatever this is wrong, just so you know. But the grape juice, that explains why that is kosher. That's very good, thank you for that. Oh, dude, is this supposed to be like communion? Is that is that what this is? This is comfort food for the soul, Man, Manschwitz. Manischwitz, Manisch, I don't know. So I already drank the blood and uh, this is like the body now. I think I did that out of order, so I apologize for that. Look at these things, dude. Oh man, that's gonna make a mess for sure. You know, I'm not a very religious person, just like I don't like to get into politics and stuff like that on the channel. I don't really get into religion, but if you want to educate me on your culture, your religion, that's cool. It's a very easy experience to share food with people to kind of educate them on your culture and things like that. So we're gonna give this a try. I'm not gonna eat a whole one, but dink with myself. Oh, I guess it's not like supposed to taste good. Wash down the body with some blood. Hope that's not offensive. They're good, a part of the Passover collection. It's uh, it's like a giant uh, saltine cracker, but not as salty. I haven't eaten yet this morning, so I'm actually gonna have some more. Thank you, and thanks for supporting the channel on Patreon. Next up, we have one that's gonna take a little bit of explaining, but let me eat this first. So this one is a formula for Talon. That's me. Now this is something that I sort of experimented with before on the channel. You guys may have seen me do the whole nootropic thing for 30 days straight. Well, since then, I have also experimented with something else. And my experience with this one was a little bit better, and I will be bringing you guys a video on it in the future. But here we have a formula that was crafted for myself. It'll make a lot more sense in the future, but it says, Hey Talon, welcome to Team Formula. We're thrilled to have you and excited to see what we will create together. So I'm actually gonna save this to explain it a little bit better in the future. But basically what this is, once their site actually launches, I kind of was giving them feedback on what I thought of everything before it actually went live. They are nootropics or nootropics, however you wanna say it. And the way it works is you go onto a site, you fill out a form and it kind of gives them a lot of information 
information about you. You decide how you want to feel or what you want to feel and then you can take packets of pills rather than mixing up a drink. And you can mix them together and kind of experiment to see what works best for you because obviously not everyone is the same. So if you have one set formula, it's not gonna work. Or I should say it's not going to work the same for everyone. So this is a company that will allow you to kind of expand that. They'll basically tailor a specific formula for you. So I already went through this and I've been using this stuff for a little while. This is now like the final one that I've decided works the best for me. So I'm gonna be using this a lot more in the future and I will give you guys a full rundown of my experience with this. That is really taking the channel into kind of uncharted territories, something that no one asked for, but I'm interested in it. So I'm gonna let you guys know what this is all about. Next up, this one is a little bit heavier. Again, coming from Amazon seller. We have not one, but two LED camping lanterns and two flashlights as well. All right, first is the camping lantern. It looks like these are coming in at, man, this thing is rad. Looks like these are coming in at $18. So that's pretty affordable. Oh, there's two of them in a the pack. So they sent four all together. Batteries. All right, it's not actually metal, but I have had a camping lantern similar to this before. Ooh, it's LED. That's kind of cool. Turns on when you pull it out. This thing actually might be uh, pretty convenient in some certain situations. And there's four of them, so. Very cool. I do go camping at least once a summer, but now that I got the whole van thing going on, I'm going to be doing it a lot more. And uh, maybe I'll throw one of those in the van. Could come in handy in the future. And then this is what they call their tactical flashlight, ultra bright LED flashlight, smart compact design, anti-slip surface, three modes, high and lumen too. <laughs> oh, bless you, thanks. All right, are there batteries in this one already? All right, well, unfortunately, I will not be able to test this out, but it looks like you can adjust the beam, which is kind of cool. And these are coming in at just 10 bucks, 10.99 on Amazon. So I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check these out. Now we will move on to the final box. All right, this one is coming from my friends at Vertex. I have a very good idea of what this is already. In here is a new gamut checkpoint. I have not done the new gamut line video yet, but that will be coming out very soon. Because I'm filming this in the future, here actually is that same bag in black as well. And I have this thing packed out right now because I'm going to be taking this to Vegas with me. At the time of you watching this video, I already went to Vegas and I already know how this thing performs. But me, in the present tense, I don't know. Definitely holds a lot of stuff though. Clothing for about five days. I have all my camera gear over here ready to go. And now since I have two of them, I'm going to be giving one of those away probably on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, definitely go do that. And I will announce more details on that once I get around to making the video on this thing. It should not be too long though. So that's all that I got for today. Here's an idea of uh, what we're working with on the ground here. It gets messy. So I gotta give a big thank you to everyone who sent something in. I got a lot of cool stuff here today. Even the people from Amazon. Thank you for sending out a product for me to check out. I will leave links to everything that you guys saw here in the description down below. So I'm coming from friends like Neomag and now Protec. I definitely wanna be friends with you guys because this thing is sick. Got some patrons in the mix and then also some possibly new friends as well. So thank you to everyone. If you want to send something in for a future video, I have no idea when I'm going to film that, but if you want to send something in, a product, something to eat for testes, whatever, right here's the PO box. It is still open and you can find it also in the description down below. That's all that I got for today. Now I gotta clean all this stuff up. But anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next one.